Hello guys, we are back for another hearing video. I literally used to do these all the time, now it's a rarity. Today, I'm going to be talking about how I live with hearing aids and a hearing disability at college. And if you have a hearing disability and you're like worried about going to college, don't be because people do it all the time and there are so many things to help you and I'm going to be talking about them in this video. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Shreya and I'm doing Vlogmas, so if you stumbled on this video, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I've always been someone that's like, I'm gonna be fine regardless of whatever, like I don't really need anything to help me because I'm just super independent and like blah 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 blah. <laughs> but I do have a lot of stuff that helps me and I think it will help you too. So the first thing that happened even before I got to college was I had a specific fire alarm placed in my room. I'm pretty good at hearing fire alarms, like I've never not heard a fire alarm, but just in case my fire alarm in my room was equipped for the light, it still made that annoying obnoxious sound, but it blinks lights whenever the fire alarm goes off. It's really cool and it definitely works. And then the other thing that's placed for the fire alarm is a bed shaker. It's like this industrial like, thing that goes underneath your bed. If you're hearing impaired and you have this, so you're lying in bed, you hear the sound you see the light that's blinking and also your bed is gonna be like shaking you awake it works very strong very good and you definitely will not miss a fire alarm even if you're like completely deaf because it's still gonna be shaking you and you can still see the light and there's lots of other accommodations that you can have for your room but I choose not to you can get something attached to your door so if someone knocks you can see a blinking light I don't do that because I can hear when someone knocks um and I think there's a lot of other things I'm not super educated on it. Also, one thing that I did find out this year is that I qualify for a hearing dog so I can literally like have a dog in my dorm room that will like alert me when people are talking to me, when the door is being knocked, any sound the dog will like let me know. I don't do that because I can't take care of a dog. Also my roommate has a dog so I already have a dog living in my dorm room. Let me know if you want me to do a video on that. If you're hearing impaired and you want a dog and you want to bring it to college, look into that because you definitely can. Now for my alarm, I got a special alarm clock literally just from Amazon. So if I just search hearing impaired alarm clock, I literally got the first one that popped up. It's $30. It works so well. It comes with a pillow shaker so it can shake you awake. I don't use that because that stuff scared me. This alarm clock is so, so loud. I always set an alarm on my phone for like 10 minutes before that one goes off. So hopefully I can hear that because that alarm scares me because it's so loud. Definitely will wake you up. It wakes me up. Typically, I don't hear the alarm on my phone and my roommate just yelled at me. Um, the kind of the routine. Uh, she actually has a deaf friend, so she kind of like understands me really well, which is really nice. So whenever my alarm goes off on my phone, she just like screams at me and I hear that. <laughs> and so I never really have to deal with the alarm going off. Also, if you have a TV, I put closed captions on, just like talk to your roommate. Like they literally can't say anything, especially if you bring the TV. But even if you don't, just be like, hey, can you please put on closed captioning? Even when I'm like not there and I like walk in, like the closed captions like still on because they're really useful. So I definitely, definitely do that. And then for actual classes, I have a lot of things that I do. If you're going to college, definitely talk to the disability person because you definitely need to have some paperwork in place in order for everything to happen. So I always sit in the front row. It's the classic thing, I always do that. I always tell all my professors what's going on, even if they get a letter from the disability resources office I just tell them anyways, you know, start building that relationship with them. And then also I have a captionist for the first time ever. This is so cool. Okay. So basically I Skype call my captionist. It's just like a phone call, no video. And they hear what is going on in the classroom and then they type it. And it's basically like looking at a Google doc and like seeing what they're typing and it's captioning in real time. And it's just so cool. I just literally see it on my phone. So cool. So amazing. I typically don't like look at it because I'm always focused on on the professor but when I missed something I just looked down on my phone and I see what they said and it's just like crazy because I've never had this before and I never knew like how amazing captioning could be and I'm just thinking back to how much it would have helped me if I knew that stuff existed in high school and I could have used that stuff I'm just thinking about how much better I could have done on my tests and in my classes um it's just amazing that the technology exists and I just love it so I have captioning it works amazing other than that that's basically it. So that is how I survive 
in college with hearing aids. Anyone can do it. It is not that bad. You just gotta be confident and get what you need because you don't have what you need. If I didn't have any of the stuff, it would not be this easy. There you have it. Let me know what you want me to do a video on next. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.